Hi, I'm Craig Frazier, and I'm going to show you some reduction using the transparent Createx airbrush colors. We've got a nice Caribbean blue here. Now, many people say, is it sprayable right out of the bottle? Yeah, it is. But you always can want some a choice. You want to be able to add a little bit of reducer to create you know, a variance in gradation, as well as the ability of creating more detail. So I always give it a good shake, and I'm going to use a little mixing cup here. You can use the little gradations on the side to figure out your ratios. You can also just eyeball it. This paint is very forgiving when it comes to reducer. Speaking of reducer, we're going to use the 4012 reducer by Createx. And I'm just going to go like be between a 5 to a 10% reduction. Very, very careful. You can go more, but you always want to start out less. It's easier to add than it is to, you know, you can always add more reducer. Give it a good little stir right here. Put it in the bottle. And it's ready to add to the airbrush. Okay, you've seen how easy it is to mix up the Createx airbrush colors and the 4012 reducer. Now we're going to take it up a notch. We're going to add some 4030 balancing clear to it. Now, if you're wondering what 4030 is, it's basically, like I said, a balancing clear, but it adds durability, increases sprayability, basically also acts as an adhesion promoter. It's a great balancing clear, a uh, great additive that works with just about all of the Createx products. Now, when using that, there's a couple of different ways you can apply it. We already got our nice little mix here of just 4012 and the Createx color. We can now add 4030 if we like to it. Now how much? We can add as little as 10%. I say a minimum. Anything less than 10% doesn't really matter. At least 10%, a maximum of 50%. And you just add it right in here. Now remember when you're adding it, it is not as thick as normal paint, but it also is not as thin as reducer. So you may need to add a little bit more reducer to this. There might be a little bit of a simpler way. If you haven't mixed your colors up at all yet, let's go ahead and create what I call the 4030 reducer slurry. And it's a combination of 4030 and 4012. So we'll take our cup here. Always give your 4030 a good shake. I know it's clear. I know it doesn't have any paint. Shake it anyway. There's multiple components in there. If you don't shake it up, you can have some issues. Add a little bit in there. In there. We don't need a lot. And then how much reducer? Uh, usually about 10% for this kind of paint. Or five, right around then. And we stir it up the same way with a stick. You can put it in the bottle and shake it up as well if you like. Give it a nice little stir. And then we can just add and of course, remember, always shake your paint, no matter what. Don't shake your reducer. That's the only thing you don't need to shake, your reducers. So add the paint. How much? I'm going to go 50%. Reason being is, that's a good number when mixing this stuff up. The balancing clear, you're never going to actually add too much of it where it becomes binder pour. There's a couple of neat tricks for you, and hope they helped you out.